J.D. Ammons rounds out your top five right now. Two laps down, eight to go. As problems for Ethan Bales in the E8, and now the double zero. The 17 this weekend of J.D. Ammons into the infield now. I am currently headed up to Best Engines in Texarkana. We, uh, that backup motor we had being built, it's, uh, not quite ready. It's another machine shop, not best, that has been working on it. Uh, for whatever reason, he's having problems. So we called Best and told them what we had going on. And uh, he basically offered to help us in a way that not many people probably would. So very appreciative of him. Uh, last Sunday, I, I took him my heads, and um, he's going ahead and he's already started working on them. I'm bringing him all the rest of anything that was good off of my motor, um, intake, carburetor, distributor, uh, a few odd men things, rocker arms, that kind of stuff. And anyways, and he's going to put it all together for us and uh, go ahead and dyno it, break it, break it in. That way we know when we get to the track that we won't have any issues, hopefully. But just wanted to make a little update. Some people have seen uh, the pictures and stuff on Facebook and I guess this little bit of a YouTube video. That motor had quite a few laps on it. We were it came from best and we were waiting a couple more months to go ahead and do the refresh on it uh, we just hadn't quite had time but regardless it's got to be fixed it's got to be taken care of thank goodness for great sponsors and, and great help we couldn't do any of this without them so uh we are headed up here to drop this stuff off and we'll give you an update when we know something hopefully we'll make the mike parker that's in two weeks that's what we're aiming for um, we'll see what happens so we just got a phone call from dusty and luke dupont they bought a b mod that they're gonna try to uh get ready for luke and they've just about got it finished up we're gonna put a, a roof on it some cell panels and, and uh, dress the body up a little bit we're gonna go out for practice tonight and run it for them and just kind of make sure that it will go and go in circles basically uh kind of shake it down and make sure we don't have any big problems if everything goes decent then we will probably run it tomorrow night other than that i imagine when they get here we'll throw it up on a little time lapse or something kind of throw this body together and get loaded up we don't have a whole lot of time it's kind of last minute but anyways y'all hang out with us we'll run you through this time lapse and we'll see you at the track
car. Gonna take it and run it and see what needs to be adjusted, all that. So we'll see how it runs tonight and if it runs good and it's set up good. We might run it this weekend. It's the Doug Murphy Memorial at Arklatex. We're not too sure about the gear. Um, I think it might be a little too high, but I guess we'll see what happens tonight. I know Donovan's, I think it's got a double quick steer on it. So he's kind of nervous about that, but we'll see how it goes. He, they're gonna load up and head to Arklatex and We'll see what comes of it. We might race this weekend, might not. Uh, our motor, hopefully. I think we might have it back for the Mike Parker Memorial. So, um, Best Engines is doing everything they can to get it ready. So, we'll see how that turns out. Well, we made it to the track. We just got through packing. We're getting ready to head out. We'll see how it does. After talking with a couple guys, Saturday. all the time. <laughs> you have fun last night? Yeah. And I was down the trap a couple times. 
Found any track treasure today? What? Did you find any track treasure today? Nah. Nah. We didn't find a ball joint. You found a ball joint? Yeah. Uh-oh. We also found the tires. You did not. <laughs> I do remember it, but you didn't find it. swap all of them that way we can run a full night tonight car looked actually pretty good it was running good keeping up good seemed like it had plenty of motor once we got all the rockers working so hoping for a good night what place you think dad's gonna get uh, first. first that would be cool huh See you in a little bit, huh? Yep. It is Saturday. I don't know if you can see the wind and dust rolling through here, but we got some rain chances. They dropped, but we might get a little bit of something. Might be enough to just settle the dust. A lot of people have already left nervous about the rain chances but we're hoping it'll blow on through and we'll get the race tonight. Alright a little race weekend recap. We uh things got real hectic when we pulled off the track. As y'all seen we went out for our heat race and uh we at practice thursday night we had had a little bit of trouble we were searching up and down for a couple of different things that it might be the motor in this car is um i guess borrowed but we don't really know what shops it's been through and all that so anyways we were having engine issues we thought we had them corrected we went out, made like a lap and a half, a real strong lap and a half, but it ended up giving up on us pretty quick. So we went back and we were scrambling to try to maybe get it together for a B main and uh, that didn't happen. So then we rounded up parts and took care of some things we needed to do Saturday morning we were going to put the car back together and run it Saturday night. Uh, ended up getting to the bottom of all of our issues. But then we rained out. So we ended up loading up the motorhome, coming back home. Had some friends hang out with us. We played cards and uh, ended up watching Talladega Nights on the back porch. So anyways, we had a good night regardless. Uh, we're still waiting to hear back on our motor when exactly we're going to get it so that we can get back in the double zero car and start running it. Um, but hopefully we're still aiming for the Mike Parker. So, uh, yep, we're, we're just going to wait around, get our motor back, get it all put in there and, and go run it. But, uh, anyways, we need y'all to... Uh, like our Facebook page, you can look it up, JD Ammons Racing. Uh, you can really keep up with us pretty pretty easily there. We, uh, we update it regularly and it's easier to go in and update that on the way to the track or as things change. And we also, we have a t-shirt pre-order going on there. So uh, yeah, if y'all wanna get you some, some racing shirts, some driver shirts, then then look us up there and, and order one. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, like I say, we're not making money racing by any means. We're just trying to help keep our stuff together and keep it going and represent our friends, family, fans, 
uh, sponsors represent everybody well and and do the right thing. So, anyways, we appreciate it, and we'll see y'all at the next one.